Hello, and thanks for participating in this faculty showcase event. I want to share with you how I used a particular concept to address two pedagogical challenges I've been facing in one of my courses. So to give you some background, the course is asynchronous. I've taught it for seven years. It is a master's level course in the College of Education. Though I myself am in the Department of Languages and Culture Studies, I am also teaching in the College of Ed. Um, it is a combined course uh, of advanced methods for foreign language educators, as well as teachers of English as a Second Language. 95% of the students in this course are currently teaching. There were two challenges I identified the very first time I taught this course in the spring of 2015. The first was that students procrastinated, in other words, waited until the very last night of a module to complete work in the course. Probably no surprise to many of you. The second challenge I faced was in terms of their participation and engagement in course discussions. Though I created a rubric for all of the discussions, as well as guiding questions for every discussion, students still, in many cases, just minimally completed those requirements and weren't going beyond and asking one another questions or tying the, what they were saying to a research or what they've been learning in the course. So my solution was to implement badging. I learned about this through the Center for Teaching and Learning. So I had identified a problem I explored my options when, in conversation with the Center for Teaching and Learning, I learned that we had access to a plugin called Badger that allowed you to include badging or micro credentialing in your courses. I chose to use it. I implemented it the very first year. I was pleased after the first course and uh, having evaluated it through anonymous student surveys and my own uh, analysis, I determined that this was really going to make a difference in the course. In other words, it was going to help me address those two problems. So I uh, created module badges. Here you see here the homepage of my Canvas course and the uh, badges that I created which reflect the themes of each module of the course. In the course orientation, students are introduced to badging and how it's used in this course but they are not required to participate, in other words, to complete the requirements that would allow them to obtain badges. The gamification comes in when they accumulate badges, the different types of badges equate to certain points. And so as you see here, at the end of the course, that could add points to the final grade. Now, spoiler alert here. Of the three offerings of this course, using badging, it only made a difference for one student in terms of their grade. And because this is the graduate level, the students really didn't care as much about the points. Now, you may not know, but in Canvas, for each module, you can establish a set of requirements. In other words, you can uh, set up um, the module so that it inserts a button that you see here on every page that is uh, labeled Mark as Done. Students can click that button and that's one way for them to signal to themselves, I've finished with this page, I've finished reading it, or I've finished an activity. It's also, with badging, uh, an indicator that they have done something there. So if one of the badges is a module badge and it requires them to uh, complete all of the activities, they have to click this badge, or this button rather, or add to a discussion, or complete an assignment, or complete a quiz. So that's kind of a low threshold, right? As you see here, uh, they get the badge if they have completed all of the activities in the module. So the next two levels or two tiers of badging require some additional work. The first one is an efficiency expert badge that's awarded weekly for timely participation. In other words, logging in by Thursday of a week that begins on Monday and ends on Sunday completing a one-question quiz, which is based on some content that they only could have learned about by logging in early and doing a little bit of reading. The second badge I call a Knowledge Enabler Badge, and that's one that is awarded for substantive participation in discussion forums. And by substantive, as you see here, it means going beyond the minimal requirements 
and also tying in some sort of external resource to bolster what they're saying and replying to one more person than required for that particular discussion. The first badge is automatically awarded. Students take the quiz and the system recognizes they've answered the question correctly. The badge is awarded. In the case of the Knowledge Enabler badge, I use SpeedGrader to easily see that they have responded to the requisite number of uh, students in the discussion, but also to take a look to see if their postings are substantive and they've included that external resource. So here's what that quiz looks like for the efficiency expert. Um, badge students answer that, they get the badge. Uh, the knowledge enabler badge, um, I have to send them an access code to the quiz and then they get the badge. So in this case, um, I have to visually first verify their participation and then they get access to the quiz that then automatically awards the points. So as you see here, this is what that Knowledge Enabler quiz looks like. The question is a very simple question, as you see bottom right here. Do you accept these super PowerPoints? They click the Yes button, and then there is an automatic communication between Canvas and the Badger system that awards the badge to them. Students can track their badges through the Canvas menu. You see there on the left-hand side of the course menu, badges is one of the course items in that menu. When a badge is awarded, it becomes colorized, so they originally see a uh, grayscale version of all the badges. As they achieve a badge, it's colorized for them. They can chart where they are in terms of other students in the course. That information, of course, is made available with uh, an aliases, as you see there. And so you can see the student number one here has achieved 27 of the 29 badges. So what are the takeaways from this in terms of student self-reporting via an anonymous survey? Students told me they were motivated to participate throughout the week because of badging. They really wanted to get all badges and they were really satisfied when they could see some sort of visual recognition of their effort. In terms of my observations, students were definitely motivated to participate throughout the week. So yes, that's a win for me. Uh, typically, I'll tell you that 10 to 15 percent of the students don't participate, and that's fine. Um, on the rare occasion that there's a technical issue with the integration of Badger, students will, will email me because this is so important to them and they want to know, where's my badge? Uh, and finally, students aren't participating, uh, as I've surmised, to get uh, additional points for their grade. They do it because it's fun.